everyone, myself Sai Prasad, Alexan, Ahlabath High School and the Junior College. Welcome to a series of the lectures of Intermediate Second Year Maths B. We started our discussion with the chapter ellipse. What did we learn? We learned the basics of how do we find the standard equation of ellipse. We also derived it, right? And uh, we learned when the equation is given, how do we find out all the parameters such as center, focus and all those. Okay? So, we are going to do all the problems of uh, how do we find out all the parameters of an ellipse when the equation is given. Okay? See here. The question given here it is find the length of major axis, minor axis, lattice rectum, eccentricity, focus, center, equation of directrices. These seven things we have to find. How do we find? Is first write the given equation into a standard form. Okay? How do we write? First, let us take the equation. Right? What is the coefficient on the, what is the constant on right hand side? 1. Right? So, let us divide 144 on both sides. So, what do we get? 9x square by 144 plus 16y square by 144 is equal to 1. This becomes x square by 16 plus y square by 9. So, if I compare it with the standard equation, I can write a square is equal to 16, b square equal to 9. Obviously, a is 4, b is 3. Is it? Now, tell all the parameters now. What is length of major axis? Length of major axis. What is length of major axis? If I say, uh, let me draw it here. If I say this is my ellipse, here to here the distance is A. Here also the distance is A. What is the total length here? 2A. 2A. That is 8. Right? Next. What is length of minor axis? Which is 2B. 2 into 3. Is it okay? So, uh, he is also asking us to find length of lattice rectum. What is it? Length of lattice rectum, which is 2B square by A. 2 into B square is 9, A is 4. Thing is 9 by 2. Right? Next, he is asking us to find eccentricity. Eccentricity E under root A square minus B square by A square. That is under root 16 minus 9 by 16. What is 16 minus 9? That is 7. Therefore, this is root 7 by 4. Okay? Next, four key. What is focus for uh, this uh, type that is plus or minus a e comma 0. Okay? That is plus or minus what is a 4 into root 7 by 4 comma 0. Obviously, this is plus or minus root 7 comma 0. Is it? Next. What is center? For this kind of uh, parabola, the center itself is 0 comma 0 which is origin. Next, equation of directrices. What is equation of directrix? We derived x equal to plus or minus a by e. Okay, that is x is equal to plus or minus what is a? a is 4, e is root 7 by 4. Obviously, this is x is equal to plus or minus 16 by root 7. Is it clear? Is there any difficulty in finding all this thing? No. So, the main thing we have to remember is first write the given equation into the standard form. Then we will write the parameters for A and B. Okay? Then we will start doing the things. Is it okay? Fine. Here if you observe all the ellipses we discussed is with the center as origin. What if the center of the ellipse is not origin? If it is moving towards right or left or uh, towards uh, 
first quadrant. So how do we solve it? Right? Even in the parabola also we did y square equal to 4x, y square equal to 4x, those kind we have seen. After that we also did y minus k whole square and all those. Right? Shall we uh, learn about those things? Let's do. See here, uh, the ellipse whose center was 0 comma 0 was the basic thing. Here, the ellipse whose center is not 0 comma 0, the center is h comma k. Okay, all the diagram and everything will be same, but based on the coordinates and based on the quadrant, the diagram will change obviously, the position will change mainly. So, here for this kind where if a is greater than b, where a is belongs to major axis, b belongs to minor axis, the center is h comma k, eccentricity is a square minus b square by a square, okay. And what about the focus? Focus here we are assuming it to be h will shift it, right. So, uh, since a is greater than b, the focus will be like h plus or minus a e, yes or no. Since uh, it was a e comma 0, just it will add from x and y axis, it was plus or minus a e comma 0. If I add the position, whether it is moving right or left, it will become h plus or minus a e and 0 plus k which is simply k, okay. Similarly, vertices also, whether it is moving or right or left, we are going to add the position of x as h, y as k. Length of lattice rectangle obviously 2b square by a, okay. Length of uh, equation of lattice rectum is given by x equal to h or minus h plus or minus a, okay. If it is just equation of lattice rectum, we used to write x equal to plus or minus a. When it comes to direct recess, x equal to h plus or minus a by e, right. Why the length of lattice rectum is x plus or minus a e? Lattice rectum itself is an equation passing through focus, yes or no and parallel to y axis. Obviously, it used to be x equal to plus or minus a e, yes, fine. When it comes to the equation in which a is less than b, the center is same as h comma k and the eccentricity will be b square minus a square by b square, okay. When it comes to focus here, the k term will increase because there it used to be 0 comma plus or minus b. This becomes h comma k plus or minus b e and vertices is h comma k plus or minus b. Here it is 2 b square by and here it is 2 a square by b, right. Uh, lattice rectum h plus or minus a here k plus or minus b. Here h plus or minus a by here k plus or minus b by e, okay. Uh, with this basic, uh, let us do one problem. How do we find all this parameter when the equation is given? Okay, shall we see? Let's do now. Look at the question here. He gave to find center, eccentricity, vertices, focus, lengths of major axis, minor axis, lattice rectum, and also equation of directrices and lattice rectum of this equation. These are the formulas. So. First, we have to convert this into standard form. How do we do? Which method? What is the popular method we have to use in order to reduce this into the standard form? What is it? That is, yeah, the, we have to reduce it, okay. So, let us use that uh, standard completing square method, okay. First, in order to do that, we have to write all the x terms together and simplify it. What do we have here? 9x square minus 36x, 16y square plus 32y minus 92, right. In all other things still in uh, parabola and all those kind of things, we used to have only one parameter and reduce that. Here we have two, two parameters. So, we have to do the same for both the things. So, first let us take 9 common here, x square minus 4x. Here if I take 16 common, I will read it as minus y square plus 4y, is it 9 4s are 36, 16 4s are, I mean 16 2s are 32, is it right? Do not get confused in between, that is the main uh, thing you have to remember here. Is it clear? Here I have taken 9 common, I will get it as x square minus 4x, 9 4s are 36. Here I have taken 16, 5 square plus 2y, right? Next. First step, I have to write this as x square minus 2 into x into 2, 
Now I have to add and subtract 2 square. Isn't it? Next. The similar thing here y square plus 2 into y into 1. Let me add and subtract 1 square. Yes. Now what do we do? This can be written as x minus 2 whole square minus 4 plus 16. Here this is y plus 1 whole square minus 1. Now let us multiply everything. What do we get? Here it is 9 into x minus 2 whole square 9 4 is 36. Is it right? Next here 16 into y plus 1 whole square minus 16 minus 92 equal to 0. So, let us write it in the form of 9 into x minus 2 whole square plus 16 into y plus 1 whole square is equal to uh, let us add everything now 6 6 12 13 14 here 9 10 11 12 13 14. So, this is nothing but 144 on right hand side. So, let us divide that 144 on both sides I will get it as x minus 2 whole square by 16 plus y plus 1 whole square by 9 equal to 1. Yes or no? So, if I compare it with the standard form what do I get? H is equal to 2, K equal to minus 1, A is equal to 4, B is equal to 3. Yes, here the condition is A is greater than B. So, can I use this formulas now? Obviously. Now, just substitute everything here. What is center? H comma K, 2 comma minus 1. Right? Next. What is eccentricity? A square minus B square by A square. Obviously, 16 minus 9 by 16, which is root 7 by 4. Okay? Next. Focus. H plus or minus A E. That is, what is H? 2 plus or minus A. A is 4, e is root 7 by 4, comma, k is minus 1. So, that is 2 plus or minus root 7 comma minus 1. That is it. Okay. Next. What is this? H plus or minus A comma k. What is H? 2 plus or minus 4 comma minus 1. So, we can write it in two forms. 2 plus 4 is 6 comma minus 1 and minus 2 comma minus 1 both are valid ok because we will have two vertices here also you can separate and write it ok. Next length of lattice rectum 2 b square by a let me write everything uh, this side ok. What is b square 9 by 4 2 2 will get cancelled this is 9 by 2 is it. What is the equation of lattice rectum tell me equation of lattice rectum is h x equal to h plus or minus a x equal to h plus or minus a you can see here 2 plus or minus root 7 this is my answer. Equation of directrix h plus or minus a by e which is h 2 plus or minus 4 by root 7 by 4 which is 2 plus or minus 16 by root 7. Clear? What is that we have to remember here? First thing we have to remember the formulas. There is no other option. Okay. Next, uh, he also asked this. Uh, we have uh, written center, eccentricity, vertices, focus. We have to write length of major axis and minor axis. Lattice rectum is done. Direct is done. Lattice rectum is done. Okay. What is length of major axis? 2a, 2b. Here. Uh, length of major axis is how much? 8. Minor axis is 6. Is it clear? No more confusion, right? Once again, see here. First, he will give the equation. We have seen all different kinds of uh, reducing methods, that is, completing square methods. Here, we will see a completing square method with the two parameters. 
First let us write the x terms together and y terms together and constant somewhere. From this thing what was the first step? We have to make sure that coefficient of x square should be 1. So, I have taken 9 as common, it becomes x square minus 4x. Here I have taken 16 as common, right. Next, it has to be written in the form of a plus b or a minus b whole square. That is why I have written it as x square minus 2 into x into 2 plus 2 square minus 2 square. Why we do not have a constant b here. So, in order to do that I have added and subtracted b square. Here also I have added and subtracted 1 square, okay. Then we will write it in the standard form multiplying and we will write it in the way of x minus h whole square by a square plus y minus k whole square by b square equal to 1, right. From that we will just find the values of a and b then e and we will substitute and in order to find this thing, clear, is it okay, fine. Uh, shall we go to the next problem, let us do, look at the question here. Till now we did the problems when the equation is given we would have found, I mean we found out all the parameters and when the parameters are given we used to find the equation, fine. But uh, the, when the parameters are given we found out the equation which is in the basic standard form where the center is origin. So, let us do a problem uh, when such parameters are given and we have to find the equation in the standard form whose center is not origin, okay. See here, find the equation of ellipse in the form given that center is given, one end of a major axis is given and eccentricity is given, right. So, how the ellipse will be? Ellipse is like, okay. Now, he gave one end of major axis, let us say A, this is center, right. Now, center is 2 comma minus 1, one end of major axis is 2 comma 5 and the center is 2 comma minus 1, this is 2 comma minus 5, okay, 2 comma minus 5, clear. Now, we have to find only two things that is A and B, already H is given, K is given, E is also given. So, even if I find A or B, since E is given, I can find other parameter, clear, fine. Now just write what is given center, center is 2 comma minus 1 which is nothing but h comma k, what is h now? 2, what is k? Minus 1, done with two parameters. Next, what is a? Just tell me a is the half of total major axis scale length, that is c a can be measured as small a right. So, obviously let us find A as C A ka distance. So, under root 2 minus 2 whole square plus minus 5 plus 1 whole square. Is it okay? Fine. 1 minus 5 is minus 4 whole square which is nothing but 4. Is it? So, I got the value of a, can I find the value of b? How do we find? b square is nothing but a square into 1 minus e square, is not it? So, what is a square here? 16 into 1 minus 1 by 9. Let us apply this, 9 minus 1 by 9 that is 16 into 8 by 9, this is my b square. b square is, what is 16 eights a? Just tell me. 8 6 is 48, 8 1 is 8, 128 by 9, okay. We got a square, we got b square, can I substitute it? Obviously, x minus h whole square by 16 plus y minus 1 whole square by 128 by 9 equal to 1, is it right? Is it simple to solve? But what is the main thing? Without knowing the actual form and without knowing how do we solve it and without knowing the actual figure of ellipse, we cannot find this kind of problems, clear? Fine. Uh, is it okay? What all we learned today? We learned mainly the parameters, how do you find the equation, right? And how do we find the parameters of that equation? 
okay when it uh, be compared with the parabola we learned this all things and then we learned the relationship between the tangents normals with uh, the conic section clear fine after this we are going to start those kind of questions from our next session okay okay fine this is for today let us meet in the next session with the more problems of ellipse thank you